Niggas out of marching. I show the kingdom they come. From the motherland, shouts out to y'all, brother man, with another plan. Yo, I had a question that I wanted to ask y'all. Like, I didn't really get an answer to this shit. But, um. My bad, some other shit popping. But look, so check this out. Now I just seen some shit behind me that was kind of trippy. Maybe maybe wild shit. I just seen this Hispanic dude arguing with a white dude. But um, check this out. Going back to what I was saying about talent. So there's something that beat talent all day. And people say things like, oh, this person was born with God's gift. Not, that's not true. People was not born with God's gifts. Everybody born with different, but like, we got to look at it like this. LeBron James wasn't born good. He had to work on it. He just would have been a big, tall, weak nigga if he didn't fucking practice. Right? It's like work ethic. Like, everything is work ethic. Everything is hard work. Everything is repetition. Right? And I like to say this, right? Like, Michael Jordan got cut from the team. Like people, people know of Michael Jordan. All of these kids know of Michael Jordan. They rocking the shoes, but they don't understand he got cut. And that day he got cut, you know what he did? He said, "What if he would have quit? What if he would have said, yo, maybe I shouldn't play basketball?'" No, he went in the gym and got up thousands of shots a day. First one in practice, last one in practice. Michael Jordan is not the best basketball player because he's naturally gifted. No, he's not. He's the best, best basketball player. Bro, you got on the fucking tie, bro. You got on the full suit and a tie. How are you going to say anybody sold they sold? You probably work for somebody corporation. Shut up. I hate when niggas come in there with that soldier soul shit. Bro, like, who you work for? Shut up, bro. Like, it's always the niggas that sold they sold. Sends my, shut up, bro. We talking about work ethic. Bro, like I was saying, my nigga, Michael Jordan put in hours, bro. Everybody that had to tell you about Michael Jordan, the first one in the gym, the last one in the gym, man got up 2,500 shots and shit a day, bro. Look, what I'm saying is this. 
talent, bro. It ain't no such thing as talent. There is no such... Look, bro, hear me out. There's no such thing as talent, bro. There's only such thing as motivation, hard work, dedication, bro. That's it. There's no such thing as talent, bro. There is no such thing as talent. Like, and talent, motivation and work ethic also stems from inside the mind. Like, you got to have a mental good work ethic, too. For example... Right, you got to train your mind to do repetitions. A lot of people don't know. know a lot of people don't know, know that. You got to change your mind to do repetitions. Like you got to tell yourself, "All right, do this. All right, do this. All right, do this. All right." And you got to keep envisioning it in your mind. Like me, I could draw very good. I haven't showed y'all my artist side yet because I'm saving that for another chapter in my life. But I could draw re very good. Leroy played. Y'all, y'all see swag. Leroy played basketball with me. We grew up together. He know I used to draw shit. I had fake tattoos and all. Nigga, I had a fake tattoo the whole high school. Leroy, pull man, pull, post up our motherfucking uh, junior varsity basketball picture. I had a basketball on my arm the whole, my whole high, all four years of high school. Everybody like, yeah, this nigga, they like got tats. He young. I used to wake up every morning and draw that bitch on the exact same way. But anywho, make a long story short, right? Repetitions, right? Repetitions is important. Mental repetitions, right? Mental repetitions, bro. Like, you gotta train your mind before you even go. Before you even go physical with it, you gotta train your mind to go over and over again. Okay, boom, boom, boom. All right, boom, 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 boom. All right, boom. I know I'm gonna do. Okay, boom, 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 boom. You gotta train your mind, bro. And mental repetitions and mental mental work. It start. That's where it starts from. Mental work. Okay, I want to do this. I'm going to do this. How I'm going to do? It. I'm going to think about myself doing. It. I'm going to envision. It. I'm going to create it. I'm going to manifest it. Right? Whatever you want to call it. And then you go to the gym or wherever you go, you work out and you master it. But nobody is born with talent, bro. That's like saying. That's like saying. Oh man, you was you knew how to walk the very first day you was born. If you find me a motherfucking baby that could walk. The same day he was born, then that motherfucker talented. You find me a baby that can walk the day he came out the pussy, that motherfucker's talented. That's talent. That nigga has an advantage on life. You find me a baby that can walk soon as he came out the pussy, that's talent. That nigga got a God's gift. That nigga got a God's gift, bro. Hey, look, you're preaching, but you're not changing anything, bro. You don't even have a display picture, bro. You hate your own life, my nigga. Go kill yourself, bro. Damn. Yo, let me tell y'all something. This goes to all the sad ass niggas in here. Stop talking to me, my nigga. I'm gonna promote your death, bro. Kill yourself. Damn. Get out of here already. Get the fuck off the earth already. Nobody needs y'all sad ass niggas. On the internet spreading y'all sadness everywhere. Get your bitch ass up out of here, bro. Damn. Find, stop bothering me. Find the nearest bridge and jump. The fuck, bro? Get out of here, my nigga. Hurry up and kill out. If you need money to buy a gun, my nigga, PayPal me. My, I help you, bro. I literally help you kill yourself, bro. Get out of here, my nigga. I'm not the right one for you suicidal niggas, bro. Die! The fuck? Y'all niggas is fucking negative vampires, bro. Y'all niggas find everybody else Instagram and try to distract other people from uplifting. Get your sad ass out of here, bitch. Fuck wrong with you? But going back to what I was saying. It's simple repetitions, bro. Look at you, you talking about harsh as fuck. You sound like one of them. Get your bitch ass out of here. Anybody else got something to say? Huh? Anybody else feeling sad right about now? Like I'll block your bitch ass? Anybody else? Huh? Any else one of y'all sad, depressed ass niggas in here? Oh, daylight. Oh. Come on. Say something so I can block your fucking sad ass, bitch. So you can go in the back room and cry about it. I'm a fucking bully, bro. 
Hey, keep me away from all depressed uh, motherfucking uh, facilities. I'm gonna come in there and encourage y'all. Niggas be like, he's on the bridge, he's about to jump. I'll be like, jump! Bitch! The fuck? Ain't nobody about to be up here worried about, oh, oh somebody tried to catch me, man, I got things to do. Hurry up! Hey, 911, this nigga about to kill himself. Y'all better, nigga, I'm gonna go to the back of you and I'm gonna start, nigga, making windy noises. <laughs> Nigga, I'm going to go behind you and get one of those things. Remember those things they had in church? Remember the little Fandy thing with the Jesus on it? I'm going to be right behind you. Come on, blow this nigga off. Come on, wind. Hurry up. Fuck you up here playing for you fucking attention whore. Yo, I hate fucking suicide niggas, bro. Niggas attention whores, bro. If you really wanted to kill yourself, nigga, you would just go to the bridge and jump. Nigga, you wouldn't be out there playing with it. Bitch, jump. Fuck you playing with it for Oh, I'm just gonna cut my wrist. Oh. Bitch, cut your whole arm off. Fuck you playing with it for. Look at the fucking attention whores, bro. That's all y'all suicidal niggas is attention whores, bro. It's not hard to really kill yourself. Bitch, jump. The fuck? If I woke up and I was like, I wanna die, bitch, I'ma be dead. The fuck? Bitch, there's a freeway everywhere. There's cars everywhere. There's trains everywhere. There's buses everywhere. Bitch, die. Fuck you talking about you in there playing with it? How you almost kill yourself, bitch? You gotta be a loser. The fuck? Loser! Loser! How the fuck you all what type of nigga almost kill himself? Bruh, like what type of pussy nigga? Oh, I'm gonna oh, oh mom! Mom! Oh mom! If you don't come up here now, I'm gonna do it! You better buy me Fortnite. But Fortnite's free, honey. Well, you better buy me some extra skins or I'm going to do it. Man. Loser. Kill yourself, bitch ass nigga. Stop playing with it. Cut your whole arm off. You niggas attention horn. Bruh. You ain't, my nigga, you got a knife. What you gonna cut your wrist for, bitch? Split your throat. Fuck you talking about? fuck you gonna cut your wrist for bitch you got a neck split it if you really want to die bitch split your neck i never seen a suicidal person with cuts on his neck because y'all niggas playing with it bitch ass niggas y'all niggas just want attention have you ever seen a suicidal nigga with with cuts on his adam's apple nope because they don't really want to die they just playing with it attention whores that's all they did attention whores bitch you just want people to feel sad for you. Fuck you, bitch. Kill yourself. Look. On some real shit. This goes to all the suicide. Do I got any suicidal fans in here? Anybody suicidal? Anybody in here really, really suicidal? Like, come on, y'all. Don't be afraid, speaker. I know somebody's suicidal in here. Come on, G. Who's suicidal in here? Somebody? At least one person. Come on, don't speak up. We ain't gonna bully you, G. And I'm, I'm gonna try to help you, G. Come on, tell me. Which one of y'all got a little suicide? Come on, tell me, G. I ain't gonna say nothing bad, I promise. I swear to God. Come on, tell me. All right, look. If you really suicidal and you really feel like giving up, I'm gonna tell you a valuable thing. You can't die. Nobody can't die. It don't work like that. I keep telling y'all niggas this. It don't work like that. You can't just die. The same way you didn't ask to be born, you can't just die. It don't work like that. You think you could just die and it's over with? No, it don't work like that. Nope. Mm-mm. 
you ain't gonna just kill yourself and just think you could be at peace. Hell no, bitch, it don't work like that. You gonna kill yourself, you, you gonna open your eyes back and the other thing, like, yes, I'm finally dead. Nigga, God gonna be right there, like, hey, what you think you doing, bro? It don't work like that, bro. Hey, come here, come here real quick. Somebody bring me a seagull body. You know, God like a fucking, fucking psycho. Somebody bring me an empty seagull. Hey, Moses, come bring me an empty seagull. Which one of y'all niggas had the boat with all the animals? Noah? Hey, Noah, come bring me an empty pelican. Well, get your bitch ass in that pelican and get back in the world. See, that's why you see pelicans flying around doing fucking stupid shit. Because they be sad. You ain't just going to get up out of here and think everything cool. Man, God going to bring your bitch ass right back to earth, bitch. Try again. And this time, don't fuck up or I'm going to make your ass something even stupider. Like a sloth. S sloth sloth so slow, they can't even try to commit suicide. They too slow. Keep on playing with God. Bitch, he going to bring your bitch ass back as a sloth. You're going to be in the tree moving slow as fuck. Damn, G. I should have never did that. Fuck. Now I just got to eat these leaves. Fuck. Keep playing with God. Bitch, it don't work like that. You can't just kill yourself and get up out of here. God gonna bring your bitch ass back as a Siberian tiger sloth, bitch. You gonna have big claws and all that. They so big, but you so slow, you can't scratch hard enough. How God give you the weapons to kill yourself in front of you and you so slowly you can't? Bitch, that gotta be torture. I used to always think, why God make all these different animals? And now I think that's what happened. All these, all the animals in the whole world, them was suicidal niggas. God brought they bitch ass back in the game. I think, I think you go through levels of, of power ups. Like you start off as an ant, then if you complete the ant thing, you start off as a bumblebee. Then you complete the honeybee mission, then you become like a wasp. Then when you complete the wasp, then you become like a grasshopper, like a locust or something. Then when you complete the locust, you feel me? Then you become like a motherfucking arachnid. Like I think that's what God did when He made like the evolution of life species and then you finally get all the way to a human but when you fuck up your human thing you got to go back down to the pelican thing i think that's how god yep i think that's what i think that's the whole cycle of life so when you commit suicide when you commit suicide God going God gonna to punish you in a way that you going to regret it. You think if you commit suicide, God just going to say, all right, that's it. You out the game. No, bitch, you ain't getting out the game. He going to punish your bitch ass in a way that you going to never try to kill yourself again. Hey, come here real quick. Hey, Moses, call Noah. Moses going to get on his iPhone 29,000 because you know heaven. They got all type of gadgets. Oh, Moses. Oh, ding, ding, ding. Oh, no, where you at? Uh, get your bitch ass off that ark and bring me a, uh, bring me a, well, fucking monitor lizard. What you want a monitor lizard? Bro, you got two of them, G. The Bible say you got two of them, G. We only use one of them for the sacrifice. Where the other monitor lizard at, G? What you need it for? Man, God about to turn this suicidal nigga to a monitor lizard. You know God. He always doing things. Turn your bitch ass to a monitor lizard. Now you in the motherfucking thing slithering around, big ass lizard. Bruh, listen to me to all you suicidal niggas. When your bitch ass come back as a motherfucking finding Nemo fish, all right, keep playing. God gonna bring your bitch ass back as a motherfucking Dory. You gonna be like, oh, what happened? Oh, it don't matter. Oh, what happened? No, it don't matter. I'm just gonna swim. Oh my God, what happened? This bitch, you bring your bitch ass back as a fucking Dory. You ain't gonna know what happened, bruh. Listen to me. Goes to all you suicidal niggas. Hey, 
keep on. Can you imagine killing yourself and coming back as a seagull? That's why they be irritating at the beach, boo-booing on people with all type of things. Seagulls look like depressed niggas. They like, whoop, at least I can fly. <laughs> You gonna bring your bitch ass back as a uh, seagull. Your motherfucking ass gonna be in the fucking by the beach all day flapping around. Yo, listen to me. God really like a mad scientist. Y'all don't understand how this man work. Whatever he is. Y'all don't understand how he work. He do all type of freaky things. I'm telling you. God, the cycle of life, oh, when you really think about the cycle of life, God created like a cold thing. Bro, you ever seen, bro, think about this, my nigga. Think about you a baby fish. You just got out the egg, right? Bam, so you like, oh, that go to school of fish right there. That go all my brothers and sisters and cousins. They swimming, my nigga. We about to swim across the ocean. Before you know it, the whole ocean come and start eating y'all the death. Can you imagine that type of life? I'm talking about sharks, dolphins, tunas, squids. He just fucking over your whole, all your brothers and sisters just getting ate left and right. Bro, what God, why you create this cycle? Bro, it's a cold world when you really think about it. Yo, when you really think about the overall cycle of life, oh, it's a cold world. Then Pete, the tunas eat all the guppies, right? So imagine being a tuna, right? Imagine being a tuna fish. You're like, man, I just fucked. You're talking to your boy, right? You're talking to your other tuna boy. You're like, hey, man, I just fucked over the whole school of guppies. Bitch ass niggas thought they was going to get away. I gobbled the last one. <coughs> you feel me? Yep. Feel me? What you doing? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We in the net, dog. What the fuck going on? We in the net. Oh, shit. Oh, what's happening, G? Nigga, you get your bitch ass slammed on the port of a boat. Wham! Nigga, they cut your motherfucking guts out. Oh, oh, oh. Bruh. My nigga. Bruh, the cycle of life is cold, bruh. Like, it's it's a cold cycle of life when you really think about it, bro. It's cold blooded. It's a bro. The cycle of life is like a cold blooded thing, bro. When you really, really, really sit back and think about all the cycles of life. So let's go all the way back down to plankton. Plankton is living. That's a thing. Plankton just be floating through the air. Oh, a big old blue whale come kill millions at a time. Can you imagine getting swallowed? Um, I'm talking about damn near a million of your brothers and sisters to get eight at one time. Wham. Gloop. Big ass motherfucking whale shark come. Gloop. The whole motherfucking half of the whole ocean. Gloop. Nigga, that all your motherfucking cousins, nigga, turn into boo boo. Bruh, the cycle of life is like a, bruh, it's a cold circle when you really think about it, G. It's cold. It's, it's a cold circle of life. And when I be looking at, when I, that's, look, let me tell y'all something. I don't really pray that much, but when I do pray, that's all I ask. Hey, yo, God. Hey, like on some real G shit, G. Why you made things like this? You know you could have made things like better. God be like, look, G, you think I'm gonna just make everything perfect, G? I need to see y'all do things. I get pleasure out of it. God like a horny thing. I think God be jacking off. You think God be jacking off? Don't tell me God never jacked off, because where did we get the idea from? Don't tell me God never jacked off because we had to get the idea from somewhere. Yep. I know for a fact. 
Don't tell me God never beat his meat at least once. They say God watching everything. So when we be naked in the shower, you ever be naked in the shower and you feel some windy thing? You be like, man, baby, you left the you left the AC on. She be like, no, no, I did it. Like, man, it was a windy thing in here. That be God in there looking at you. Telling you, God, a freak. <laughs>